Now if you look closely to my beautiful game, there are two objects. One is gun and one is a bottle of milk. Now both objects are using the same script. If I go closer to the gun, it will increase the bullets and if I go closer to the bottle of milk, it will increase the player health. Let's see if it works. So you can see the bullets increased and I got the message picked up bullets and same if I go closer consumed milk and the player health increased. Now in this video we won't achieve this text thing but we will see how the basic script works. So let's get started. So we have the bottle here. The first thing we will do is increase the collider height and width so that, so that the player can easily collide with the, the bottle. That's enough and we will make it is trigger and we need a script so let's create a new script and i will give it name object pickup open it up now how can you use the same script for different objects for this i usually use an integer or a string in this case let's create an integer because integer is much lighter than a string so i will create public int item number so we check the item number for example if the item number is one that means it's a milk of bottle if it's item number two it's bullets so we don't need those two methods we can just get rid of those ones all we need is void on trigger enter so all we need is this method because this method is called when any of the objects any of the object with a collider collides with this object here so what we want to do is before doing anything we will check if the collider is a player and to do that we will use tag so i will check if other which is this parameter here dot compare tag player now if you are not sure what i'm talking about if you go back to unity and if i click onto my player if i can find him the player is right here but what happens is if i oh, Oh, it's right here sorry so what happens is you can see the tag which is player if nothing is assigned you can click on this drop down and click on add tag and then assign a new tag here and then go back to player and then click on this drop down again and click on the tag which you have just created so make sure to use the same tag right here as well this will check if the colliding object is player if it is then we will do some magic and we'll check if item number is equal to one that means each e and then if else if item number two that means a gun or bullets something like that so it's now inside here this is your moment to achieve whatever you want for example in this case let's i will increase the player health and i believe for this tutorial you have some sort of mechanism uh, and something that you want to achieve so in this case let's call the player health which is a static variable is equal to well plus equals 30 and once done we will just destroy the game object because we don't need the game object anymore now this is the basic way of picking up the objects in unity if i go back to unity and click on the bottle which we just dropped into the scene and give it name one it should work and and for this tutorial i will reduce the player health because when we start the player health will always be you know 100 so we won't be able to see if it's working so to check that we will just reduce the player health when we collide to the object let's go to main menu because the scene won't work without main menu and if i go closer to the bottle you can see bottle here and if i go by the way this is the player health on the top so we go closer closer cl so the bottle is gone and the health has reduced. So this is how you can pick up the objects. So you can create multiple objects, pickable objects and give them, give the, you know, commands here. So yeah, thanks very much for watching the video. I hope it helped. Let me know what you think of this video in the comments down below and subscribe to my channel for more videos.